Hi, I'm Mike DeStefano, president of the Corn Ferry Institute, alongside Melanie Cusin, vice chairman for Corn Ferry's board and CEO practice. We're here in New York City in the midst of Fashion Week and have an opportunity to sit down with Bob Chavez. He is the CEO for the Americas for Hermes. So extending this, this uh, path of, of how you um, create opportunities without uh, creating hazard for the brand. You know, millennials has been a kind of a risky topic for some of the luxury businesses and, and curious about how you debated um, some of the new approaches you have in that market uh, to appeal to millennials and to represent something to younger generations. Yes. Well, it's interesting because what, we, what we've learned is that even millennials are very much in a less is more uh, mm -hmm. frame of mind. Uh, from a macro trend, if you just look at, what, at what's happening in the world, you see that, that younger people don't necessarily have to own a home today. Mm -hmm. They're not necessarily buying or driving cars. They're using Uber or they're using Zipcar. Or, you know, I don't have to own the car. I just need a car for three hours one day or I need it for one weekend. And it's really about this sort of simplification of lifestyle. It's also an attraction to urban areas, people living more in urban areas. And so that's really played into our strategy in a way because we are in big urban areas and we decided that we don't need to spread ourselves out so thinly all across the country. The other thing that we really believe in is that you can't fool people today. Everything, everything is wide open to you on the internet. So you can't claim to be a limited distribution, you know, highly exclusive, highly qualitative brand because people are going to find out that if they, if they see you in every other door, every other place, and they see every other person using your product, I mean, they're just not fooled anymore. Uh, they also want products that are qualitative uh, and finely crafted, and they want things that are going to last them a long time. There, there's, there's a real move away from this throwaway culture. Uh, and so, like I said before, you know, you can wear this tie 25 years from now, it's going to last you 25 years and it'll still look fine in 25 years. And that's what people want. They, they don't want to be throwing things away anymore. They really want things that are going to last them for, for a very long time.